Well, I think, I think Robin feels very sad. I know, she's very sweet. I mean, it's, it's not fun breaking people's hearts. I mean, at my core, I just want people to be happy and I just want people to feel loved. But I knew I was making a decision that would break hearts. And it tore me apart and it was super, super sad. So where are you and Cody at right now? Cody and I are divorced. We're completely separate. It's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. So last night on Sister Wives Tell All Part 2, there was a discussion about Cody Brown and his relationship with his kids. And I was actually thinking about this as I was uh, thinking about his kids and I was thinking about their social media presence and I was thinking about the divorce between Cody and Christine. And I was wondering what this would mean for the family. So. On last night's episode, Robin was like bawling so hard. I don't even know if she was crying or if she just didn't know what to say. She was clearly emotional. I mean, some people thought no tears were coming out of her eyes. I thought I saw tears, but I don't know. Um, it, It's been really, really tough for me. Yeah, it's been really hard. It's been really um, painful. But they brought up that Cody's relationship with Garrison and Gabriel is like he doesn't have one. And Cody said that he needed to go to therapy with the boys to work through his anger, his frustration, whatnot. In a plural family, is controlling a husband enough to affect other relationships? I think she's a bad person. It's just, I'm tired of it because it's been happening for years. Mm. I would help any one of those kids have a conversation with their dad, try to make it safe for them. But how about it being safe for you? <gasps> I don't think I've ever cried so much at an interview. One topic they haven't brought up at all on this uh, tell-all is Isabel's surgery. I am kind of surprised they haven't even broached the subject of her surgery. I am surprised that they haven't talked about his complete and utter abandonment. They skipped over the entire procedure. It's like the whole experience has been about COVID and then about uh, Cody's rules and then Christine leaving like nothing in between. And I was thinking about how Cody's decision to not go to Isabel's surgery was likely, it was like the moment for Christine where her light bulb went off. But obviously on the show, she says the light bulb for her was when Cody said that he didn't want to have an intimate marriage with her anymore. So Robin cried a lot about how she uh, didn't think that Christine tried enough Cody talked about how his kids and him are not on speaking terms over the anger they have about COVID. And Robin's like going, well, I didn't do this to you. I didn't do this. Why are you this way? Being mean to me. And frankly, other than Mary, I'm not sure that the others would ever want to be her friend. But part of me wonders if the issues with the kids not only have to do with COVID, but also the fact that Christine was like their mother. And a lot of times, when relationships sour and if things are not going well between mom and dad, kids can and do pick mom's side. Christine, as far as our family goes, not as a diss to any of the other moms, is our primary caregiver. What from like from our from our youngest age, Christine has been the one to provide for seven kids at a time she all the time. That some she of the has family. strained relationship with some of the older kids, and she had expressed in the, the tell-all that if she was a parent, she would never like want a child to treat another mother poorly. And she talked about how some of the older kids don't accept her. Some of the family has come together in a little clique that has literally excluded some of the other family members. Like the clickiness, the bullying, the exclusion, and stuff like that. Gabriel sees it one way, I see it negatively. Which again leads me to believe that some of the older kids have issues with Cody. And I saw a post that was made by Gwendolyn, which by the way, Google hates Cody. And I know that she is joking, but it kind of told me all I needed to know. So she shared a post of her Googling her dad's name and it says, I'm dead ass when I tell you that this is what shows up when you Google my father. 
and it says Cody Brown, Christine Brown's ex-husband. So when you go to Google and you type in Cody Brown, it literally says Christine Brown's ex-husband. It does not say, so it says Cody Brown, Christine Brown's ex-husband, um, overview news TV shows. So his tagline according to Google is Christine Brown's ex-husband. When you put in Christine Brown, hers says author. So on Christine's side, it says author. On Cody's side, it says ex-husband. I don't know how Google makes this, but um, that's amazing that even Google is on Team Christine. Could you imagine Cody's narcissism and Cody's ego when he goes to Google and he puts his name in and it says Christine's ex-husband? Because technically he has three wives and he divorced Mary, but he was never Mary's ex-husband and now he's like literally Christine's ex-husband. I don't know how Google does this, but I was laughing so hard when I saw this. And in comments, a lot of you guys thought it was super funny too. You tried it, you thought it was hilarious. We're now convinced that Google actually hates his um, Cody Brown. So other people in the life of Cody that have made their feelings known about the situation between mom and dad are is Isabel. So before the whole thing busted wide open, before there was this no, like public notification that Christine and Cody's relationship had hit the bricks, Father's Day came and went and there was literally nothing said by most of the kids to Cody. But Isabel made a post and it was so sweet to her mom and I think this should give you a good sense of where Christine's kids sit in regards to the divorce. Happy Mother's Day to all the amazing and beautiful women who have raised a person from the ground up. To my beautiful mama, thanks for being the most amazing role model. model. If I grew up to be even half the woman you are, I'd be more than blessed. To my amazing other mamas who helped raise me and made me into the women, woman I am now, you, for, you four are the most amazing women. I'm proud to call you my mom. To my two sisters who are the best mothers, thank you for birthing beautiful babies and letting me have the honor to be, witness it. I could not be more proud of the women you've become. To women who took this photo the other day, thank you for letting me be in your lives, knowing you all have been a blast. Love you. So she put this post to her mom. And then on Christine's birthday, which was in April of last year, she said, happy birthday, mommy. You are undoubtedly my favorite person in this whole world. And I wouldn't be the person I am today without your loving nature and beautiful soul. You're 49 and still don't have a single gray hair. Thanks for the great genetics coming my way. Interestingly, she has not posted a thing about her father. So... When it comes to the divorce, um, Peyton has also made some comments. I don't think that Peyton is really on team dad either. And Gwendolyn posted what her dad's Google was, which I think kind of tells you that she thinks it's funny that he's considered Christine's ex-husband. So Gabriel and Garrison also are not on speaking terms with their father, which I think has to do with COVID, but I also assume has to do with Christine. So on this past season, Gabriel had said to him that Christine was like his mother, his constant, the person that took care of him from the time he was really little until they moved to uh, Las Vegas. He would have been like 10. That's a pretty long time to be the constant person in someone's life. So for him, he looks at Christine as like his mother. So for the boys, this separation, I think, isn't just about being frustrated about COVID. I also think there's a frustration about how his dad treated Christine, how they feel slighted, how they feel rejected by Cody. And for Cody's part, he has admitted that the reason why he has picked Chris Robin is that because Robin is subservient, that Robin is obedient, that Robin is submissive, that Robin does what he wants, that Robin, Robin's kids obey him. There's nothing to do with, with Robin being kind and loving and sweet and smart and great. It's all like she's obedient, she's submissive, she does what I want, her kids listen to me. But hear me on this. I think Robin's actually miserable. I think Robin is so miserable that Cody is with her all the time that I think Robin doesn't want to be with Cody but doesn't know how to get out of the situation and maybe her tears are not just crying because Cody has left her or has Christine has left, is that now so much weight of this is on her. The whole relationship is compounded on her. And now everything is 
her and her alone and everything is focused on her. You are coming into a family expecting to be one of four wives and that's what becomes your reality. I don't actually think I would be able to be prepared for that. I also think that Robin is a firm believer in this belief system. So I think that she thinks that you need to have that many wives in order for her to get into heaven. So I think her sadness with Christine and her anger with the women has to do about how she might feel that they are jeopardizing her eternity. You know, she's feeling like she doesn't have other choices, but I wish that she had decided to keep trying. Where are we at with Cody and Christine? Christine says they're divorced. And technically, in my head, they're not, but because their marriage was done by our church officials and they haven't granted them a divorce. So at the end of the day, I actually think that this split between Christine and Ro uh, Christine and Cody isn't just a split between Christine and Cody, it's a split between the whole family. I think the kids are siding with Christine, just my opinion, and I think that it's going to reverberate in the family. And I wouldn't be surprised if down the line, Robin ends up leaving Cody. But if he doesn't leave Cody, I wouldn't be surprised if Cody takes another wife and then kicks Robin to the curb. I would never want to be the wife that is known for being the obedient, submissive one, y'all. I would much rather be like Christine. But can we just say hallelujah for Christine leaving the faith and leaving the cult? And what's with Robin literally arguing that she doesn't think that, Ro that Christine um, is actually divorced from Cody? Is she really that obsessed with her eternity that she's gonna like perseverate on that fact alone? The kids stand with Christine. Google stands with Christine and Google hates Cody. What are your thoughts on that? Tell me in the comments below. Bye guys.